Hey everyone, I'm Jordan. Welcome back to Peak Adventures with this week's Carowinds Park update. It's been a busy time here as the park shifts from the spooky Scarewinds season to the festive Winterfest. Let's take a look at all the latest changes. First up, those concrete slabs we've been tracking now have a purpose. Carowinds has installed frames for digital signs across several areas including Thunder Road, Aeronautic Landing, Blue Ridge Junction, County Fair, and Carousel Park. We're still waiting to see what they'll display, whether it's ride wait times, maps, or even advertising, but it's definitely adding to the park's modernization. Over at Camp Snoopy, construction continues as Carowinds prepares for some new rides next year. They've expanded the construction walls around the entry sign, and with Scarewinds completed, guest views of the work will be limited since the walkway behind those walls will be closed. Before Scarewinds ended, we did see that Carowinds removed some tiles from the pathway to depths of darkness. As with the closure of Scarewinds, there are additional closures around the park. Thunderstriker is now closed for the rest of the 2024 season with the train removed from the track and staged by the station for off-season maintenance. Nighthawk is also closed and will remain closed for the rest of the season. Carolina Cyclone was closed during our visit, but it is unclear if the ride was temporarily closed for the day or if it will join the list of closed rides during Winterfest. Carowinds has not yet released its attraction list for Winterfest. Looking over at Carolina Harbor from the Sky Tower, Surf Club Harbor's wave pool is nearly drained as the water park settles in for the winter months. We're also seeing more activity with Winterfest preparations, including the Winterfest Wonderland Parade floats already staged in the parking lot near Carolina Harbor. Holiday decorations are officially here. Carowinds has continued setting up Christmas lights and decorations in multiple spots, which has been an ongoing process even during Scarewinds. New lights have arrived on the bridge roof between Kitty Hawk and Boo Blasters. The front entrance, County Fair, Camp Snoopy, and Blue Ridge Junction are also decked in new props and lighting. In our last update, the previously mentioned Christmas lights remain covered under the shaded arbor, but they'll certainly be uncovered real soon. The marquee Christmas tree that sits on the entrance stage is staged in front of the Palladium ready to be moved into the park. The transition from Scarewinds to Winterfest is picking up speed. New retail food booths are now set up in Blue Ridge Junction ready for Winterfest. These booths will offer warm drinks, festive treats, and unique gifts for the holiday season. And as the park prepares for Winterfest, both Thrill Shop and Premier's Gift Shop are temporarily closed while Carowinds brings in new holiday merchandise and decorations. Scarewinds props are quickly disappearing. The large entrance pumpkin has been removed to make way for the Christmas tree, and the only major areas still decorated for Scarewinds are Aeronautic Landing and the Entrance Plaza Stage. Some props are staged in Carolina Harbor to make room for Winterfest decorations. Underneath Afterburn, Carowinds has done a bit of landscaping, trimming some shrubs to provide a clearer view into Aeronautical Landing. Oktoberfest officially ended Saturday, and after this weekend, Carowinds won't have any events until Winterfest kicks off on November 15th. For now, crowds are light, and it's a great time to check out the park with low wait times if you're looking for a calm visit before the holiday rush. Thanks for tuning in to this week's update. If you're excited about Winterfest or just want to keep up with all things Carowinds, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time with more updates as the park gets ready to celebrate the holidays. Until next time, keep exploring with Peak Adventures.